It is still very important to improve the care of our critically ill patients because today still too many patients die to their critical illness. We want to bring innovation and quality improvements to our patients to bring more patients back to life. The RWTH University Hospital Aachen is located in Aachen, the most western town in Germany. We have more than 100 ICU beds in my Department of Intensive Care here in Aachen and we deliver the care for more than 5,000 patients every year. The Department of Professor Marx offers a total 75 ventilator beds, of which 18 beds for long-term ventilated, 6 burn beds and 28 intermediate care unit beds. The main focus is on patients with sepsis, pulmonary failure, heart failure and polytrauma. Long-term ventilated patients are in particularly critically ill. We decided five years ago to install a special unit for those particularly critically ill patients and we have really good success in bringing many patients back to life and back to their feet. I have a good problem with my heart and the only solution was go to the ICU. I get from the ICU team very good answers to get a good health and a good future. When we see patients after critical illness return to life, to walking, to speaking, this is a high reward for every single member of staff for all the personal involvement we put into this uh, patient. We want to be the step maker of intensive care development into the future, combining basic research, clinical research, artificial intelligence and big data research to really bring the best to the patient and to deliver precision medicine in the future. We are sitting in the telemedicine center of the University Hospital of Aachen. The Department of Intensive Care Medicine delivers an additional telemedicine service to 17 hospitals around North Rhine-Westphalia. We have scheduled rounds together with our colleagues in the remote hospitals on a daily basis for every patient who is willing to participate. In addition, we provide a 24-7 service. We are not only delivering telemedicine as a routine service, we are also innovating. For example, we are developing an app that will support caregivers on the remote side as well as in the telemedicine center to detect ARDS more frequent and earlier than without digital assistance. At our department we have an excellent infrastructure to combine both in vitro cell culture experiments, animal experiments, but at the same time performing strong clinical trials. Sepsis is one of the leading causes of deaths in intensive care units worldwide with mortality rates up to 50% in patients with a septic shock. We developed small synthetic molecules that proved to significantly reduce systemic inflammatory response in sepsis and finally to improve organ function in sepsis. We hope to develop new theopoietic strategies to control and modulate inflammatory response associated with sepsis. On the other hand, data density in intensive care medicine rises every day. We hope to innovate digital solutions that provide an intelligent overview and provide decision support for the intensive care medicine doctor. I'm working since over 10 years in the field of organ protection and nutrition support for critical ill patients. Although nutrition support belongs to the basic treatments, it still remains largely unrecognized. Less than 60% of nutritional goals are received in the critical ill patients. We have established a network to conduct clinical trials in the field of nutrition and critical care worldwide. Training is a key element um, in intensive care. We try to provide courses that are tailored to all of our members, including physiotherapists, nursery staffs and other therapists as well. We have mentoring programs, um, teaching rounds, but also things like simulation courses and hands-on workshops for our staff members. For our ICU beginners, we provide a special ICU starter course that gives them a mix of keynotes, 
but also hands-on workshops, simulation and advanced life support. We think that a good training is an essential element for our staff members to give our patients uh, early diagnosis and adequate therapy in critical care. It's a daily uh, a challenge, but we, we want really to bring the best and encourage everybody to bring the best out of him or her, to bring with enthusiasm really the care to the bed and to the patient.